Up first, PlayStation handhelds the PSP 3000 and the PSP Go. They're two of the hottest handheld devices on the market. Of course, one of the things that makes them so hot is that you can use them to Skype with your friends. Or, if they're all noobs, then just connect to some of the 40 million users on the PlayStation Network. It's your whole world in your hands. Next, Super Mario Galaxy 2. The title instantly charted as the number one selling game in North America and Japan and is now set to roll out in even more countries. This time around, Yoshi is a crucial part of the game. And yes, of course, there's a brand new star level for players who are the handiest Italian plumber players. Set to hit Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 and PCs this fall is the second chapter of Two Worlds. The follow-up has not been without controversy since the original Two Worlds was successful but rife with technical problems. Taking that into consideration, the game developers completely revamped the game's follow-up. There's a brand new game engine and a whole new staff of writers was on board this time. First up, Nintendo announced a new handheld personal gaming device with 3D capabilities, the Nintendo 3DS. What's even cooler is that you don't even need glasses. A touch screen at the bottom of the device is not only your game controller, but also where you can adjust the 3D effect using a horizontal slide. Some of the first new games coming at you soon in 3D are The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time and Star Fox 64. Details on Legend of Zelda are still Hush Hush, but Zelda series producer Aishi Anoma has gone on record to confirm that Link is coming to you in 3D. As for Star Fox, I did get to scope out a quick demo and I can tell you that the graphics are awesome in 3D. And like a Pringle, you know, incredibly crisp. Of course, if you're a PlayStation loyalist, then you've got to check out the PlayStation Move. Its Bluetooth technology keeps your gaming wireless, but with DualShock and vibration feedback, you totally feel what's happening in the game. Dragon Quest IX is slated to expand to even more fans of the Dragon Quest franchise. After success in Japan, Europe and North America are going to be led in on the action that includes over 1,000 pieces of armor, clothing and weapons to look for, many of which provide special abilities and unique traits. Plus the ability to custom design your own heroes. Next, the West just got wilder with Nintendo's action-packed third-person shooter, Wild Guns. Blast your way through villainous outlaws, diabolical robots and towering screen-filling bosses. Plus, you can play by yourself or play with friends. Finally, news from Capcom. Fortune City is getting a hell of a lot sexier. And yes, that is an official measurement, hell of a lot. Playboy will be incorporated into Dead Rising 2, their upcoming second instalment of the zombie slasher series. Find the magazines, including special editions, and get ahead on tips to slay the thousands of zombies before they eat your brain. Not just anyone can be a wingsuit pilot. You need serious training before you can fly with the big boys. Check it out. Another way adrenaline junkies can catch some air is with Zancudo bikes, which roughly means mosquito bikes. Zancudos are two-stroke mopeds that can reach speeds of up to 50 kilometers per hour. The thrills they provide riders have quickly made them popular in Mexico, and now they're gaining traction all around the world. And in Madrid, we kick it with former footballers at the UEFA Champions Festival. From New York, I have the latest in addictive video games that are for the win. Our globe-trotting ink tour launches in... London. Major tattoo artist Nick Reed tells us about the latest tat trends in the UK, including which celeb faces people choose to ink on their bodies and, in his opinion, which tats you should avoid. Okay, first up are two new WiiWare games, which of course you are purchasing using your WiiWare points and instantly downloading to your console. Manic Monkey Mayhem is, just like it sounds, monkeys wrecking things. And in Robocalypse Beaver Defense, you get to play a crazy beaver who fights against a robot takeover. So in short, yes, dreams do come true. Also, news on the remake of XCOM. First off, it's coming to you from the creators of the super huge title, Bioshock 2, so you know it's going to be big. Well, reports of wild animal attacks in this area are not unheard of. Over the last week, the county sheriff's department has been experiencing a deluge of such reports. They've switched it up for the remake, so this time, expect to be playing first-person shooter perspective. Also, rumour has it the game will be coming at you in real time. Mega House gaming publisher EA has finally announced its plans 
for The Sims 3 on PlayStation, Xbox 360, Wii and Nintendo DS. <laughs> Plus, exclusive to the Wii, you can enjoy the all-new Beach Town, which is really cool if simulated bikinis are your thing.